Armed Forces of the Philippines or AFP Chief of Staff General Gregorio Pio Katapang Jr. revealed that there was no coordination between the AFP and the Philippine National Police or PNP Special Action Force or SAF during the planning of the actual operations to capture the two terrorist bomb makers in Mamasapa no Maguindanao. In an impromptu press conference with the members of the House Ad Hoc Committee on the Bangsamoro, Katapang revealed that there was only coordination between their troops and the SAF team on the day of the operations itself at around 5.30 in the morning, saying their troops were only at the area at 6.30 in the morning. The target, we do not know the target. They are from where they will come from, from what's their plan. Ang tinatawag niyo, corn ops or concept of operation. So that means you were informed about the... You were informed when they were already being engaged by the enemy. It can be recalled that according to initial reports, the SAF team was conducting operations in Mamasapano as early as 2.30 in the morning. Katapang, however, said that they would like to assure the public that they were present in the clash site when the SAF needed their help adding that the police casualties could have been more if they have not provided reinforcement. Uh, we would like to assure that the public that indeed the armed forces was there when they needed, when the SAP needed us. But unfortunately, we, the, the coordination came in too, too little too late. The information that were given to us was when it was already they were already there and the firefight already started. Meantime, Bangsamoro Ad Hoc Committee Chair Representative Rufus Rodriguez thanked the AFP chief for being the only head of agency to assure that they will submit their official report on the Mamasapa no clash to the committee, while other agencies like the Office of the Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process or OPA and the Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao or ARMM have not submitted their reports yet. Meantime, the PNP has already submitted its report to the ad hoc panel, but it failed to include details on the Mama Sapano clash. Rodriguez noted that if the OPAP, the PNP, and the ARMM would fail to submit its incident reports on the Mama Sapano incident before February 9, the ad hoc committee's talks on the Bangsamoro Basic Law will not continue. For GNN, Yunis Narido, News Force.